one of my old super recordings. Uh, if you've seen how much I love the old super recordings, well, and we'll post some links in the video description, this is uh, one of three. This is the third one, and it's sort of a project horn, but it's not. I mean, as you can hear, it can play really, really well. The other ones are just so perfect because they've been completely restored and also at a much higher price. But I don't need three old super recording trumpets, and I'm actually getting a super recording cornet as well uh, next week. So trying to pare a little bit of my collection down. This horn is from 1948. So a really great vintage of the old trumpets. Of course, it has that offset valve set up, so you can see that where the valves are not, um, you know, straight. It's more of an ergonomic design. I love, 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 love the bracing of this trumpet. Isn't that beautiful? It's also stress-free bracing, which is really uh, you know, advantageous for the sound. There's that bell ring, and this one has some good engraving but it's a little faded. Now, the other two old super recording trumpets I have have the twin tube lead pipe. But this has a singular pipe. They were moving towards the eventual design of the recording trumpet, uh, also a great trumpet, and I highly recommend people check out that horn as well, although this horn is very different than the recording. We'll put a link up to, for you to check out the difference between recording and a super recording trumpet as well, in case you're wondering. Uh, this horn, uh, it's very light. I, it, it, literally, I was picking it up to do this video, and I was like, wow, where's the rest of the horn? Now, it doesn't have a, um, a slide adjuster, but that doesn't, you know, completely change the, uh, the sound of, not the sound, but the weight balance, we'll say, of the horn. I'm not sure that these caps right here are original. Um, because they look different than the old recording caps of the horns that I have, the old super recording, I mind you, but still fine. There's some red rod in the tuning slide. I can probably take that slide out and show you a little bit. Look inside the tube. You can see, actually, I'll get a little closer to the camera. There's some red rod in there, unfortunately. That being said, this horn plays really, really well. We've cleaned it and adjusted it. Um, with Burp 3 oil, it plays quite well. It does probably need a valve rebuild later on in its life. If you were gonna use this as your primary horn, I would recommend getting the valve rebuild and we can help you get the horn restored as well. But it's just wonderfully beautiful sounding. This is uh, no um, edits, no EQ, no reverb. This is just the sound of the microphone um, on this camera. beautiful spin to it, a shimmer. takes you back, it really does. Vintage horns have that vibe. They wear, it's just a, it's, it's a beautiful sounding trumpet. And this mouthpiece is a Mount Vernon 3C, so it's not a shallow mouthpiece. So it's allowing the horn to have its brilliance. Great horn. And if you want to play creamy and ballady, you can do that too.
vibe. Trumpets have vibe. Certain trumpets have vibe. We always say the Martin Committee has a vibe. The Con Constellation has a vibe. A Great Besson has a vibe. Early Box have vibes. This horn is the epitome of a trumpet having a vibe. And um, that's why we, I personally have some, so many of them. But uh, you can grab one today. We have three for sale at Austin Custom Brass. If you have any questions, just reach out to us, info at austincustombrass.com or call 816-410-0826. Please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with us. We have so many videos coming out shortly for you to check out. Thanks again for your great support of ACB. Cheers.